Hi, I'm Pabok and this is a quick tutorial about how to customize gedit suitable for coding. So first thing first you will need an additional package that does not come with standard Ubuntu installation. So let me just open up the terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt T as a shortcut and it just opened in my another display so I'll just bring it over here and the command would be sudo apt install gedit plugins by the way i'm using the key tab to auto complete the commands for me and press enter i'll give my password and uh, i already have installed that uh, if you did not have it would do this for you so anyway i'm done here and i'll put the command in the description of the video but i really think you should like learn the command line as you are coding i suppose so next thing open up gedit uh, which is called text editor in the menu so anyway first go to edit and then preferences from here display line numbers you can display the right margin at column 80 or not it's up to you i don't really turn that on and we need to open sorry enable this highlight current line highlight matching brackets and in the editor we need to make tab with four it's really for preference uh, your preference but i like it four as many people use four so anyway insert spaces instead of tabs this is soft tab this is really good if you're like coding python then people don't really use tabs so it will just replace a tab with four spaces and enable automatic indentation this is very very important and uh, these two it's really up to you font and colors choose any of the themes i really prefer the solarized dark and uh, i actually configured this in my atom and android studio and intellij and so anyway i don't really use intellij this is for learning kotlin and the instructor is using that so i'm just following his like workflow just for this course so anyway i actually use atom but uh, previously i used the gedit so anyway you can customize the font i like the way it is you can change it as you like and here we will be <coughs> enabling some of the plugins so you can actually go through this yourself uh, like bracket completion many people like that so bracket completion and then what do i use draw spaces this is very useful for me uh, embedded terminal this is a must have for me and file browser panel is already in there you can enable git and do experiments and you can you can actually play with this what completion is a is a good one to have and that's about it you can just go through each of those and experiment so anyway there you go you got this and two more things to do which would be um, in the view enable the side panel and enable the bottom panel and drag it down there we don't need half of the screen filled with the terminal so now I'm just going to open a python file ok so randompass.py maybe open with gedit and make this from document to file browser so now you have a full file browser in here and you can just do this you can right click here and set root to active document so see this directory right here the random pass uh, you can see the random pass the password generator and dependencies.py and you can actually open any of these in the in the tabs so dependencies is the last one so anyway and another great thing would be hold on a sec I don't really remember how to how did I code this thing so anyway 
next thing next useful thing is right click in the terminal and change the directory and this will change the directory for you set it to the current directory so from there you can just like execute this i guess these are executable yep so this is the password generator dot slash i probably hit an error oh so i didn't hit it it's a six so you just get the entire thing in here enter terminal <coughs> embedded in the bottom so there you go i hope it helps and like if you like it dislike if you dislike it comment if you have any suggestions or something so anyway bye guys